As we anticipate the passing of Tropical Slum Elsa through St. Lucia, the Ministry of Health wants to ensure the health and safety of all residents and visitors are preserved and protected. As such, it is of utmost importance that we are adequately prepared to mitigate and respond to the impacts of this natural disaster, especially as we are battling the COVID-19 pandemic. Hurricanes and storms have a direct impact on one's personal, psychological, and social health. Persons with respiratory and chronic medical illnesses should take extra precautions as they are at higher risk. It is of importance to prevent unintentional injuries. Direct health effects stem from direct wind force, damage infrastructure, and flooding. Unintentional injuries are most common among the direct health effects of hurricanes and storms. Drownings, poisoning, electrocution, and injuries from the rehabilitation and restoration services or efforts are some of the common reasons underlying unintentional injuries. People are advised to remain indoors during the storm and should not venture out unless it is to seek urgent medical attention. Here are a few tips to prepare for a storm. Make a plan. Make sure you and your family are prepared by planning ahead. Write down emergency phone numbers and ensure that they are accessible to everyone in your household. Prepare an emergency kit with important documents, basic hygiene items, and a first aid kit. Locate the nearest shelter and different routes you can take to get there from your home. Gather an emergency supply of food and water. Ensure you have at least a free day supply of food on hand. Ensure you have sufficient supply of food that will have a long storage life, require little or no cooking, water or refrigeration in case the utilities are disrupted. Meet the needs of babies or other family members who are on special diets. Ensure your foods are not very salty or spicy, as these foods increase the need for drinking water, which may be in a short supply. Check the expiration dates on your canned foods and dried food items. Replace foods before its expiration date and do not use expired foods. Do not use foods that have been exposed to flood waters. Store your foods away from chemicals and other hazardous items. Protect your foods from rodents and insects. Very importantly, prepare an emergency water supply. You need to store at least one gallon of water per day for each person or each pet. Consider storing more water for pregnant women and for people who are sick. Store at least a free day supply of water for each person and each pet. And generally, you should try to store a two-week supply if possible. Do not use contaminated water for drinking or preparing foods. Store a bottle of liquid household chlorine bleach to disinfect your water and to use for generalized cleaning and sanitizing. Ensure an adequate supply of medicine and store it in a safe place which is accessible. Practice proper waste disposal to avoid the harborage of vectors and rodents. You need to ensure adequate personal hygiene and sanitation. Ensure you have a first aid kit to attend to minor injuries. Importantly, people should continue to follow all COVID-19 protocols. The various public health facilities will be open to provide urgent or emergency care during and after the storm. These facilities include the Owen King EU Hospital, the Victoria Hospital or Respiratory Hospital, the Sufre Hospital, Denry Hospital, and the Grosley Polyclinic. The Ministry of Health appeals to all to be prepared, remain indoors during the storm, and listen for public advisories on the tropical storm. <music>